Hello, dear family of God. What a joy it is to be with you once again. And what I want to do today for today's pastor's devotion is begin by talking about Mr. Rogers. And one of the things that Mr. Rogers was really well known for was the way that he treated uh, children and young people. He loved them and he respected them. And he always sought to treat them like adults. And he would encourage others around him uh, to do the same. And that leads me to uh, Paul's first letter to Timothy, where he gives some sound advice to young people on how to be respected. And he says this in 1 Timothy 4.12, Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech and conduct in love, in faith, in purity. And I think that's great encouragement uh, for not only young people, but for the entire body of Christ. Uh, first, for the young people, it's just a great reminder again that God has given you talents and abilities and spiritual gifts that you can use to help advance the kingdom of God. So I would encourage you, young people, to get in the habit of spending time in the Word, praying, asking questions to your parents and uh, adults around you, uh, seeking opportunities uh, to be the hands and feet of Christ. And for the rest of us, uh, older people, I would encourage us to encourage young people to do those things, uh, to uh, seek the Lord Jesus Christ, to uh, set an example in their speech and the way that they conduct themselves in love also, in, in faith and in purity. And uh, I think it is very common these days, uh, and obviously in Paul's days too, because he talked about uh, young people being despised, that young people are looked down upon. They're seen as troublemakers, and uh, when will they grow up? But Paul reminds us that young people have a, a great opportunity that the Lord has set before them uh, to seek the Lord now, to, to grow and set an example for other believers. So that's my encouragement today. May we do so and may the Lord be with us in a pursuit of godliness. Let us pray. Oh, Father, thank you for the young people at Rivermont and thank you for the things that you are doing in their hearts and lives. Lord, I just pray that they would seek opportunities to set an example for other believers and that other believers would encourage them in their walk. We love you and give you praise for this day. In Christ's name, amen. So good to be with you. Have a blessed day.